गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग टेल्स फॉर जुलाई टेंथ टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन आई होप दैट यू गाइज आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन वेरी डिलीजेंटली एंड दे फॉर इन ऑर्डर टू हेल्प यू गाइज इन प्रिपेयरिंग द करंट अफेयर्स फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन दिस मॉर्निंग टेल सीरीज हैज बिन डिवाइस्ड बाय अस सो डू फॉलो आर करंट अफेयर्स थ्रू दिस मॉर्निंग टेल सीरीज इन ऑर्डर टू लर्न द डेली करंट अफेयर्स इन अ सिंपल मैन एंड नाउ लेट अस बिगिन आर मॉर्निंग टेल्स विद दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द बुक लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्री culture in commemoration of its 50 years partnership with UN World Food Program so recently ministry of agriculture has launched a book in order to commemorate its 50 years of partnership with united nations world food program and now what is the name of that book so there are five options nutrition book 50 years of partnership for change handbook remembering coffee table book 50 years of partnership for change grow together and fight hunger out of these five options it is option c that is coffee table book 50 years of partnership for change which is the right answer for this question so now a little more information about this question is that agriculture ministry and united nations world food program have collaborated in order to accomplish sustainable development goal 2 and now what is this sustainable Go- development goal 2 states so this sustainable development goal 2 is aimed at removing hunger completely so in order to remove hunger from india agriculture ministry and united nations world food program have collaborated around 50 years ago so this is in commemoration of that partnership so do remember this question that coffee table book has been released in order to commemorate the 50 years of partnership and which ministry has released this book it is the ministry of agriculture and now let's move on to the next question of today that is what is the name of the operation launched by border security force to fortify the anti infiltration grid alongside indo pakistan border so recently the border security force has launched an operation in order to fortify or in order to strengthen the anti infiltration grid alongside india pakistan border first of all what does this anti infiltration grid mean basically it is kind of a structure or a mechanism which has been established by border security force in order to stop the trespassing of the border by people from the enemy country or from the other side of the border so infiltration refers to the trespass and now coming back to this operation which has been recently launched by border security force so this operation is named as operation sudarshan and this operation aims to fortify fortify refers to strengthen the anti infiltration grid so now let's discuss the length of this indo pakistan border around which this anti infiltration grid is going to be fortified so this mission or this operation will be conducted in two states and that are jammu and punjab so these are two states in which this operation will be conducted jammu has 485 kilometers of indo pakistan border and punjab has around 553 kilometers of border totaling around 1000 kilometers of border so this is the length of the border which india shares with pakistan in the regions of jammu and punjab and around this 1000 kilometers border this operation sudarshan has been launched by border security force to fortify the anti infiltration grid alongside indo pakistan border and now let us discuss our third question of the day that is which of the following site or area has been recently included in the world heritage site of unesco so basically list of world heritage sites of unesco has included an indian site or an area into its world heritage site list so which area is this can you recognize it from this picture so this is a picture of a palace in jaipur so basically jaipur has been included as the world heritage site in this unesco's list so from now on jaipur is a world heritage site and now let's move on to the next question of today it is a quite interesting question so do listen to this question carefully where has the world's largest burn and plastic surgery institute named as sheikh hasina national burn and plastic surgery institute been inaugurated quite interesting question it is because i have given the answer in the question itself so guys if you are familiar with sheikh hasina then i think that you have already guessed the answer so sheikh hasina is the prime minister of bangladesh 
and this world's largest bone and plastic surgery institute has been inaugurated in Bangladesh in Dhaka which is the capital of Bangladesh so this is the world's largest bone and plastic surgery institute which has around 500 beds capacity and 50 ICUs and 12 operation theaters so that is why this hospital or this institute has become the world's largest institute so do remember this thing that it has been inaugurated in Bangladesh the other important fact from which the question can be framed out of this information is that who is the Prime Minister of Bangladesh so the answer to that question would be Sheikh Hasina so do remember this thing and try to interpret the other ways in which the question can be reframed and now one important message for you guys is that since I have already told you that we have created a telegram group for the students who are preparing for RBI Sebi Nawad so if you have not enrolled in that group till now make it a hurry and get yourself enrolled in that group to get the latest updates of current affairs as well as important news articles on a daily basis and now let us move on to the next question of today that is which country has won the copa america 2019 tournament quite important tournament from exam point of view now why i said this question or this tournament is so important this tournament is so important because a good number of questions can be framed out of this single tournament so do listen to this question carefully now recently this copa america tournament has been concluded and where has it been concluded it has been concluded in brazil so that's the first question that where was this copa america 2019 tournament held that is in brazil second question that can be framed out of it is that copa america tournament is related to which sport now the third question which emerges out of this tournament or this question only is that which organization organizes this Copa America tournament so it is the organization of CONMEBOL which organizes Copa America now this CONMEBOL is the South America's football ruling body basically football governing body and this Copa America tournament is also played in South America so it is basically a tournament of South America so that's the fourth question which is coming out of this tournament and now the fifth question is on the screen in front of you that which country has won the Copa America 2019 tournament so there are five options Peru Cuba Brazil Argentina Mauritania so out of these five options it is option C Brazil which has won this Copa America tournament so it is the hometown win for Brazil because the tournament has also been conducted in Brazil so that was all about this Copa America tournament but do keep these things in your mind about this tournament so now let's move on to the next question which is also related to sports so the question is who has won gold in the Grand Prix of Spain 2019 if you can recognize this picture then you can easily guess the answer that it is Vinesh Fogart who has won a gold medal in this Grand Prix of Spain and apart from her another winner of gold is Divya Kakran she has won the gold in 68 kg categories and Vinesh has won gold in 53 kg category apart from them another wrestler that is Pooja Dhan has won a silver medal so that was all about this Grand Prix of Spain and this name is clearly indicating that this tournament was held in Spain but where in which city was this tournament held can you mention your answers in the comment section so do tell me your answer that in which city was this Grand Prix of Spain held because the city is very prominent that is why I am asking you the question now let's move on to the last question of today which country has won the FIFA Women's World Cup 2019 again a sports question but quite important question because it is about FIFA so recently FIFA Women's World Cup has concluded and in that World Cup USA women's team has won the tournament so do remember this thing that USA has won the FIFA Women's World Cup 2019 and now the question for you guys is that where was this tournament held so you have to mention the venue in the comment section below and now it's time to conclude our morning tales for today and thank you so much guys for watching our video and if you have liked the video do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notifications thank you so much for watching the video